So I'm going to show you some real-time temperature data and some real-time Twitter feeds coming from, um, uh, sorry, going into Power BI. So let's start with the, uh, the Twitter feed. So I've got some basic code working. I'm just going to fire that up. All this is doing is talking to the Twitter API, asking for uh, tweets that meet the criteria that we've got here, passing them off to do some um, sentiment analysis, um, which we can do as part of the Azure platform, giving it a sentiment analysis score, and then squirting it into an event hub within Azure. The other bit of real-time data that I'm going to show is coming from uh, a Raspberry Pi. So here is my Raspberry Pi with my breadboard hooked up to a thermometer. Uh, I've got here a cup of hot water and a cup of cold water. And I'm hopefully going to be able to show you the temperature difference between the two. So let's get our thermometer plugged in. And just to prove that this is absolutely in real time, the time now is just coming up quarter two on the 16th. No smoke and mirrors, it's all real time. My Pi has got a very, very small amount of code running. So I said this is six lines of code. I might have under that slightly. It might be a couple more. But that's my, my code. I'm just going to run my little application that takes the, the data from the thermometer and squirts it into an event hub within Azure. So we can see that the temperature within the glass of water is five point something degrees. Uh, within the thermal mug, I would hope it's a little bit hotter than that. So hopefully this should, let me just pop a mat on top to try and keep that water nice and warm. So we should see the temperature increasing. And again, that's being squirted into our Azure event hub. So again, all real, no smoke and mirrors, it's all real stuff. So within Azure, I have my uh, event hubs, which are part of the Azure service bus. And all my event hub is, uh, is, is doing is taking the feed of data that I'm passing to it. And the way that we do that is that we have um, some connection information. So for the developers in the room, you'll be used to having um, endpoints and shared keys, etc., etc., in order to pass your information to the event hub. And uh, all we do then is consume that within stream analytics. So within Stream Analytics, I've got two things configured. One is taking my uh, Internet of Things demo, which is my uh, Raspberry Pi and my thermometer. Uh, and the other one is taking the, the Twitter feed. So let me get both of these started up, and I'll talk you through the configuration of those once they're up and running. They do take just a couple of minutes to get started up. So my Internet of Things example, I've got an input. My input is the data stream that I'm taking from my event hub. I then execute a query against it, which is this SAQL language, and it outputs to Pi Therm. So my output is configured as going out to Power BI and authorized using my account. So again, it's all OAuth, all works quite, uh, quite nicely. Similar, uh, similar story again with the Twitter example that I'm taking my feed in from my event hub and I'm just passing that along to Power BI. So while those are starting up, within my Power BI dashboard, you'll see my data sets that I've got, the ones that I had before, so PBI final that I showed earlier. And within a couple of seconds, I should have my Twitter feed and, of course, my thermometer. So here we've got Pi thermometer. We've got two bits of data, which is basically when the uh, event happened and the, the temperature reading. As a table, that's not particularly exciting, is it? So let's do that as a as a graph, and we'll pin that to a report. Um, 
and we'll call that drive temperature. And we can then add that to a dashboard. So here it is against the same dashboard that I was using before. Uh, let's rearrange these a little bit because we're more interested in the temperature. Put that down there. Make this a bit bigger. So this is obviously updating in real time, which is uh, which is quite cool. If I just compress that down a little bit, make that half my my screen width. That's a bit smaller again. There we go. So the thermometer is currently plugged in to the um, hot water, and we see that the the graph, which I've made slightly too wide, let me make it a bit smaller again. I in fact just increased the width of my browser. So we see that the hot water is getting cooler, not unsurprising. If we plunge the thermometer into the cold water, we should see that graph start to go down really quite quickly. Uh, you'll see and possibly here, we've got some uh, ice cubes in there, so that should be really quite cool by comparison. And we can see in real time this set of data showing that the, the temperature is indeed dropping down, which is uh, quite cool, pun intended. Pop it back into the hot water and we'll see that instantly the line starts to go back up. So as I'm sure you can appreciate, this is a, a relatively noddy demo for the purposes of demo to show you real time. There's nothing better than sure you're seeing the thermometer move from one to the other with um, the, the graph changing instantly. Let's show the, the, the Twitter feed coming in. So here's our data set. And we probably want to show the, the topics of the feeds, how many of them, and then analyze them based on the, uh, the sentiment. And again, as a table, that's not particularly compelling. So let's have that as a, uh, as a graph. Again, this is going to update in real time. So let's call our report, put to live, and add that to our existing dashboard. So webinar Blue Peter example. And this is not going to be quite as uh, excitingly real-time changing as the, uh, as the graph, but as you'll see, things are, uh, are being tweeted to do with um, Xbox, Skype, or the Rugby World Cup. We'll see it's quarter-final weekend this weekend, very exciting weekend for all of us excited about rugby. Um, but we'll see that that data is changing, although not quite as dramatically as uh, as our thermometer example is. Let's pop it back in the, the cold water so that we can see that changing once again. But we see the things are, uh, are all changing in real time, which is um, absolutely fantastic. You, know, you compare where things were just a handful of years ago around the ability to do real time data, and you know, we're, we're streets ahead now. You'll, you'll see that the only pieces of infrastructure that, uh, that I actually have are a 60 pound looking at the uh, right webcam. So that's my infrastructure. 60 pounds worth of uh, Raspberry Pi, breadboard, and thermometer. That's that's it. Everything else is in the cloud, um, which is uh, clearly minimal investment and all available on demand, scales, etc., etc. 